Hey, good morning, Major League Fishing fans. Uh, Joel Shangle, Editor-in-Chief here of Major League Fishing, and uh, we're coming at you live this morning from, as you can see, it's a slightly different location. We're typically at the ramp, uh, dark and early in the morning, but uh, we have a weather situation here in uh, Dayton, Tennessee for a championship uh, Sunday for the Econo Lodge Stage 4 presented by Wind Grips. Um, if you look outside, you may be fooled by the fact that it's light rain this morning, but the forecasts are for much more severe weather to move through uh, East Tennessee throughout the course of the day. So we have some course adjustments to competition. Uh, joining me uh, this morning is Aaron Bashir. And Aaron, we're, we're kind of in the What's middle up, of guys? coordinating a lot of moving parts here because we've never actually had a situation exactly like this on the Bass Pro Tour. But right. bottom line is Championship Sunday will happen today. Lines will go in at 7.30. Correct. But how the guys get to where they're going to fish is different. Uh, the situation that will happen throughout the course of the day is completely different. So let's kind of walk through what our plans are for the course of the day. First things first, the guys did not launch from the ramp here at the Dayton Bach to Grill. This is where we've been the entire week, but because the weather is coming in, we've allowed the 10 remaining anglers to go to their chosen launch location to put in. So that's a, that's a safety factor. We're just erring on the side of caution, correct? Absolutely. Uh, erring on the side of caution. And that's one, one thing that puts Major League Fishing uh, top of the level, we're able to, to do that and utilize our technology that we have to let these anglers trailer uh, on, and air on the side of safety. So they're, they left where we are right now at, the, at kind of our comm center at six, six o'clock with their officials and their cameramen and their officials is gonna let them go, uh, they're gonna launch, let them go at seven o'clock, lines at seven thirty, just like you said. And then we're actually using our weather contingency plan that we use on the cups level today, so which is quite a bit different. Absolutely. So what that means is that uh, competition begins at seven thirty, and as the weather comes in, if if there needs to be a stoppage of play, and this is as Aaron refers to, we've done this in the cups before. The, there will be a message that's sent out to the entire field. There will be a stop time declared, and. At that time, lines come back out again, and then we'll adjust according to the weather. So the bottom line is that today is all about flexibility and being quick on your feet because we don't really know. Obviously, we're, we're monitoring the weather, and as you can see, we do have some weather. Um, yeah, we do, and, and actually our uh, headquarters in Tulsa, we have uh, individuals there with the uh, National Weather Service also. That's another level that uh, they're mm -hmm. kind of letting us know a little bit ahead of time what to prepare for. So all the anglers have, are, have been briefed, the officials have been briefed, the cameramen have been briefed, and another uh, meeting that we had in here this morning is with our camera ops, the guys that have your guys out uh, mm -hmm. trying right. to get photographs. So, yep. so, uh, we, you know, we're preparing for the worst, but we're hoping for the best. So we're relying on technology here for communications. Uh, we have uh, GPS programs that allows us to see where everybody is located up and down Chickamauga. The thing about this, this is a, this is a big fishery. So the guys will spread from one end to the other. And so keeping track of all of that and monitoring the weather situation. And you made a good point this morning. Uh, it might be bright and sunny on one part of the lake, and it could be Titanic. Yes, yeah, south end of the lake. So yeah. that's the one thing that we have to deal with is we have different situations up and down the lake. The bottom line, though, is because of the, of the contingency plan and fairness of competition, if if one area is blasted, there will be a stop to competition. Everybody comes lines out. Right. And they'll start again when it's when it's safe for everybody. Another thing that we do on the weather contingency plan is anyone in the boat, which today there is the angler, obviously, the official, and the cameraman. Anyone has the right to say, hey, it's, it's lightning, we need to stop. Uh, so that way, you know, if I'm officiating, I don't, I don't feel like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt the field or hurt the angler. If I get scared, I'm gonna shut competition down sure. and lines will be out across the board at the exact same time. We, we communicate that to all, all 10 competitors and that way it's fair. So uh, it, it's yeah. just a, it's a fair game, uh, but number one today, safety's on our, on our minds. So if you're, uh, if you're just tuning in, a quick reminder, we will begin competition at 7.30. Score tracker will be applicable. That's all the same. The only difference right now is that uh, the guys are arriving at their spots in kind of a, a different uh, procedure. They're, they're driving to their chosen ramp location. They're putting in at 7. They'll get to their spot at 7.30. Competition begins. So score tracker goes live at 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. If you've followed this week, you're aware of the fact that we've had rain kind of off and on throughout. We had uh, heavy rains the last day of practice. We've had a couple of days where the rain was heavy during competition, but we've had weather coming. We've had our eyes on 
on our weather apps for the past couple three days, and it's actually it's actually backed off a little bit from what we saw earlier in the week. But uh, the bottom line is we've had forecasts of potential hail, potential isolated tornadoes. So we, we definitely have wind gusts, uh, uh, potential forecasted gusts. wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Correct. And, and with the with the river, that puts another mm -hmm. factor in it because does. the wind the wind direction has been against the current, That's which right. creates a, a tremendous roll. roll. That's right. And uh, plus, you add that with shallow water, mm -hmm. and any of you anglers out there that's uh, river rats have done this before, you know, if the, your skag sticks into a sandbar and the roller comes over, you could be in trouble or stuff. Yeah. So we've, re we've got our best uh, camera ops drivers out, our most experienced, and uh, they're trailing as well, but safety's on our mind today, but also it's Championship Sunday. It also. is. It's a little on my yeah, mind. It is. So Championship Sunday, of course, that means that some, at the end of today, regardless of, of how this all plays out, uh, how long they fish, we will crown a stage four winner. Of course, we've got ten guys who have fished extremely well. It's been an extraordinary competition. We've had we've had weights that have every day have escalated. So uh, whether who knows what'll happen. But the bottom line is that uh, some of the local guys like Michael Neal, like uh, Andy Morgan, have predicted that the weather could actually cause a good bite. So. Don't be surprised if these guys go out there, even though the fact that it's going to be kind of a rough day. They'll probably catch them. You know? There'll be a handful of guys who catch yeah, them. Yeah, sure. I was in the angler meeting last night, and it was really interesting uh, to see the look on their face when they found out they could trade them. They all, I don't think that's ever happened at this level of competition before. Uh, with MLF, we have the ability to do that. And they kind of all looked at each other and got a really weird smirk on their face. And uh, I think they planned their strategy today. I saw them run sure. out to their boats and start redoing tackle that yep. they had already had been working on for a couple hours. So I think they planned their strategy based on trailer. Yep. Like maybe they, they were going to hit one spot on the way or something, and now they know that they can go to their juice. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait for live. So 